I have not seen this picture in a long time. So, we've got a lot going on. I've been shooting everything on the 5D and I'm too busy at this point. So you know what? We breaking out the old Rebel. Let me see if I can show it to you. Y'all remember this bad boy? The first camera where we had to figure out what an aperture was? Yeah, right there. We keep it simple today. Let me set this up for you. We've been out in Missouri for about a week filming a TV show about mules, i.e. the Ozark Mule Days vlog that went up recently. We've been blessed with good weather, it's been sunny, and everybody here has been complaining about a drought. Well, I got news for Missourians. They've never experienced a Texas drought. However, this morning we woke up and it was overcast and raining. I mean, hallelujah for the farmers. But if you're trying to shoot a, a video and there's no light, then you're in trouble. Necessity's the mother of invention. I've never really put a whole lot of thought into lights before. We've got all of this crap in the back, but I can't figure out how to get a pretty picture on a cloudy day. St. Louis is 170 miles west, and there's a camera store there. Buying your first camera is fun. Buying your first microphone is fun. Getting your first computer is fun. Buying your first light. It is so weird that photographers dress like professional, like they're going to an office every day. Chill out, man. There was a set with the 1000D lights for $700, which is quite a bit. And it didn't include batteries. You can buy two batteries on Amazon for $35. And at the camera store, those two batteries and a dual charger were $130. So the lights and two batteries to run them, the whole eight total, was going to be close to $900. Bucks. So I got one big light and one so basically this thing is about the size of a cell phone and it's bright woo man it also came with two diffusers I'm pretty confident that this setup's gonna work and it's about five hundred dollars instead of a thousand and it's better for run and gun shooting So when I was in junior high, you know, stoner movies were starting to get popular, and there was that one. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I mean, like, I know it's a normal restaurant, so you got, like, cookout in the southeast, you got in and out in the west, Whataburger in Texas, and then White Castle in the Midwest, but I've never been up here before. I wanted a White Castle burger so bad after that movie that I bought a frozen one. Thank you. So the 
depending on what part of the country you live in, this is going to seem ridiculous. I've just always wanted to try one of these. I mean, I bought frozen ones at the grocery store when that movie came out. And like most of the kids these days wouldn't even know that movie. We got a sample one though. Okay, check it out. It's four little sliders. Ooh, wow. That little tiny meat patty. It's so thin. It's got onions all over it. It's like a soft, it's like a soft biscuit. I mean, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's like, it's unique. You could definitely have a craving for it. And they're open 24 hours a day. Crinkle cut. I can very, so I can very confidently say that the closest thing I have ever had to White Castle was served in jail. And that, that's a that's a strange taste, man. Glad I did it once. I was all excited and excited about being busy for the next two weeks. I have work lined up every single day. Even though today kind of turned into screwing around a little too long at the camera store and driving five hours from Columbia to St. Louis, we got our lights. <laughs> Had White Castle for the first time and most likely the last and we're ready to shoot tomorrow. You know, it was cloudy all day. Every now and then you gotta take a rainy day. Go with the flow, yo. This was just a straight up vlog and we're shooting on the Rebel. If you enjoyed it, please, you know, let me know. I'm always seeking for different paths, but what I've been doing with the big camera and the audio setup, all that, all that, that, that stuff, uh, I've got to start reserving it for special occasions. If we're just going to drive around and vlog, it's it's got to be a, a running and gunning to the extreme type camera, and that's what it's been today. Well, I'm sitting in the beautiful hills of Missouri. There are some super lush flowers around here, and I have never seen so many hummingbirds on one feeder. Talking like 16 holes spread out between two feeders and they're fighting over them. It looks like a swarm of bees in the garden, not just hummingbirds. And then, you know, the mules are hanging out too. And I've never ridden, I say never, I haven't ridden a horse since like Boy Scouts. So that might be interesting. We're doing all this filming of them, and like, I can't even ride them. It's kind of whatever. Ah, this is the end. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all very soon. Oh, yeah. So, this is our new light. Working pretty good. This is a little one. You should see the big one. It lights up the whole yard.